Hi, this is Todd from TT Bike Fit, and we're going to talk about uh, Keywin pedals today. Uh, Keywin pedals have been around for um, quite some time now, but they haven't really gotten much distribution in the U.S. I've been using them personally for uh, for several years, and um, really think they offer uh, a great value uh, and great performance. Um, so let's take a look at these. These are these are made in New Zealand, and they, they are used by. Um, by a lot of uh, top athletes down in New Zealand and Australia. Like I said, they haven't really uh, gotten much distribution here in the U.S. Um, you know, one of the things you'll notice about the Kiwins right away is that they have a great big platform, a great big pedal surface, uh, which is nice for power transfer. And their other main feature is that they're extremely light. These have titanium axles, uh, and per pedal, we're talking about um, about uh, 96 grams per pedal here, which um, it, it's you're pretty much not going to find anything out there that's much lighter than that. When you add in the cleat, uh, which in the cleats are just uh, simple uh, plastic plates, add in the cleat and the mounting screws and hardware, uh, the total weight is still well under 300 grams for a pair, including all the hardware, and you're really not going to find um, anything you know much lighter than that. You can find some pedals that are similar. Uh, similar weight, but you're going to likely pay two to three times as much uh, than you would pay for the Keywinds here. Uh, we're, we're selling the Keywinds for uh, $139.95 for a pair of these with the TI axles, and, and typically if you're looking at a sub-300 gram pair of pedals with hardware, you're looking at uh, over $300 to over $400 uh, dollars for the, the popular pedals that are out there. Uh, so let's look at the, uh, the function of the Keywind pedals. Um, they, they function similar, similarly to uh, a lot of the other pedals out there as far as, as, far as clipping in and clipping out. Uh, the cleat, as, uh, as I said, is just a, um, a, uh, a simple plastic plate uh, mounted with uh, three-hole mounting. And um, it has a fair bit of fore-aft adjustment to it. It doesn't have much in the way of lateral adjustment, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. The pedals are very simple, really no moving parts to them. And the, the clip in, you just put the toe in first like you do with many pedals, step down, and, you, and then the heel kicks in a little bit, and you're into the pedal. Uh, you're in very solidly. And the interesting thing about this pedal is that they do have six degrees of float. But unlike most other pedals out there in the market, uh, the, the cleat does not turn in the pedal or on the pedal. The whole pedal, in fact, floats on the axle of the, uh, the pedal itself. So here you can see I'm, I'm moving the heel through the range of float, and you can see that it's that the cleat stays solidly fastened to the pedal, but that the pedal is rotating on the axle heel here. So you get the float centered right over uh, the axle of the pedal, as opposed to um, uh, many other pedal designs, which which pivot the float pivots off the front, and you have the the cleat moving around in the pedal mechanism itself, and it can feel give you kind of a sloppy feeling. Uh, the other thing you can do with these pedals is by removing this little cover here, there's a little screw under there, you can tighten or loosen that screw, and what that'll do is it'll change the amount of resistance to the float. It won't reduce the amount of float, you'll still have the full six degrees, but it will change how easy it is for the float to occur. So you can go from a very slippery, loose feeling float to a float that, that has a fair amount of resistance uh, to it. Also, this float is not um, recentering float. You know, with a lot of other pedals out there that have sort of a spring-loaded uh, catch mechanism, uh, when you float off, you'll, the spring will be pushing you back towards center. With these, wherever you wind up in the float range, it just stays there, and you don't. There's no uh, there's no uh, recentering uh, force uh, generated at all. So um, so it's a very solid connection with these pedals, and a very uh, very secure feeling float. Uh, to snap out with these pedals, it's just like just like any other pedal. You just tilt the heel out and uh, and you come out. Now, as I said, when you you can adjust the float tension here on these pedals to uh, increase or decrease the amount of resistance to float. Uh, another feature is you can remove the float altogether. And I've actually ridden these pedals for quite some time with no float at all, and, and actually really like it. Um, and to do that, you just pop this little, snap this little plate off here, and the pedals come with uh, some small clips that you install 
in here against the bearing and then just uh, snap this back on and then the pedals will be uh, fixed non-floating. So that's a, uh, another nice feature if you like uh, that kind of pedal. Another feature of these pedals that's, that's quite interesting is that we have a, a variety of axle lengths available. So this, uh, this is good from my perspective for dialing in someone's uh, bike fit, um, but they range anywhere. This, this pedal right here is a minus three millimeters, so it's three millimeters, three millimeters shorter axle than the standard length. This one right here is the widest axle, which is a plus six millimeter, and you can see the, uh, the difference difference in lengths here, how far away the pedal is from the crank arm versus these two. So here there's about a nine millimeter difference in length, and we even have uh, a minus six millimeter, which is a very narrow, very short axle. Um, won't work for, for a lot of riders uh, at all, but, but it's something that some track riders and, and what have you will use. Uh, the minus three millimeter can come in handy for time trialists and triathletes who have a, a narrow uh, narrow stance on the bike, narrow knees, and uh, want to bring your feet in closer to the bike, uh, this, this is one way to do it. On the other hand, if you're someone who has trouble with your knees flaring out and you always feel like you'd like to have your feet wider on the bike or further away from the crank arms, uh, one of these, a plus three or a plus six millimeter uh, axle width could help you with that, could help improve your alignment between your knees and your ankles and your hips and give you uh, straighter knee tracking. The wide axle pedals are also good for, uh, for use on winter bikes when you're wearing booties. If you have trouble with your booties rubbing on the crank arms uh, all the time, get uh, a plus three or a plus six millimeter width for use in the winter and you won't have that uh, trouble anymore. The axles are simply interchangeable by removing this cover and removing a, uh, a uh, nut under here and um, we also sell extra axles in the different lengths if you want to uh, swap axles uh, out of your out of your pair of pedals. Uh, the cleats are uh, very inexpensive as opposed to um, you know, some pedal systems out there where you're going to pay $40 or so for a set of replacement cleats. These are just $15 for a pair of these with hardware, simple plastic plates. The cleats have a wear surface built into them. There is no rubber on these cleats, so, so you know, like other hard plastic cleats, they're going to be somewhat slippery, especially at first. Um, but of course, the ones that have the rubber in them, in many cases, the rubber falls off or rips off right away anyway, so it isn't much good to you. Um, these have a wear surface built into them right here, which has no effect on the function of the pedal. So you can wear down these big plastic bumps here, and uh, it has no effect on how the cleat snaps into the pedal, because the bearing surfaces are on the side of the pedal and the inside of the pedal here, and then also up here, and this, is, this lip is quite thick. So you can really... Uh, uh, put a lot of wear on these cleats before they before they wear out and before I've never seen them in in, in my experience get to the point where they won't uh, clip into the uh, the pedal anymore. The other parts of the pedal are also all replaceable. We carry extra parts. Uh, the little catch mechanism here is easily replaceable if uh, something were to happen to that. And we have uh, everything from extra bearings to uh, extra axles, as I said, and and, and the various the various. Um, cover plates. So uh, all in all, we think these are, these are a great pedal system, great bang for the buck. You know, $140 for a set of these is about, um, you know, as cheap as just about any pedal system you're going to get out there, but yet these give you great performance and they give you a weight that's, that's uh, competitive with uh, any pedal system out there that you can buy today.